Got you. You mentioned earlier a couple of things I want to uh, circle back on. Number one, you said there's a lot of math in yeah. uh, weather. Mm-hmm. Where, where does that, how do, how do they even factor in into becoming a sniper? Um, how did it factor in? Like, like why math? I, I, uh, you know, I, I, I think like literally I think about looking through a scope and shooting. Like how, how does math even into this equation? You have to defeat your first greatest uh, threat to a bullet is gravity. So when you just put, if you were to aim and shoot, eventually that bullet's going to hit, hit the ground at a shorter distance. But if you aim up, it's like a, a wide receiver go, or a, a, a quarterback throwing the football. You know, he can get way more distance on it if he arcs the football. So the math allows you to arc the bullet like a football um, to go further into a target. So like, you, let's say if I'm shooting half a mile, like there's a pretty significant amount of math in in that equation to be able to pull that off. But if you don't apply any math, you'll like, you'll miss your target by football fields. Oh yeah. The guy you're shooting at won't even know you're shooting at him. Um, if you apply no math at all. And even if you did apply the math, you have to factor in the wind now. Like there's so much different wind changes between me and the target, which is a mile away or half a mile away. Like there's a lot of things that happen with the wind at ground level. Let's say at half a mile, the bullet, I have to arc it. uh, I think it's like 12 feet, 12 feet above my position where I'm shooting at. I think it's 12 feet at half a mile um, into the air. I want to say 12. My math, I haven't done that math in a minute. Could be 12 feet between 12 and 40. Um, with a 7.62 at half a mile, the bullet's going to apex arc into the air before it comes plummeting down. So when you shoot someone at that distance, the bullet never goes straight in. It's coming like down on top of them almost. Mm. So you're doing a lot of math to, you're factoring in the bullet speed, uh, how far the target is. The gravity is always going to be a constant. The wind is a variable. A variable. Altitude is a variable. Uh, planes fly faster at higher altitudes. Uh, bullets work the same way. So the higher my altitude, the thinner the air, the faster my bullet is going to fly, as opposed to being at ground level. A lot more you know, dense air, stuff like that. You're factoring all this stuff. Um, and at some point, the further out you get, then you start to factor in the spin of the earth itself. So where you aim, you aim it where the target's going to be as the earth is spinning and he'll meet that bullet. So it's a lot of math. Damn. Whoa. Uh, what's your father's snipe? Like, what's the father's target you've ever hit? And whether it's a human being. Okay, yeah, yeah. Or a, a, a steel object. One mile on a steel target and half a mile on a person. How many times did you have to shoot before you hit the, the steel object? Like two or two or three times at a mile. I don't think the average person can fathom because to you, I'm sure, you know, a mile is probably normal for what you guys do. Maybe to be not. honest, no, a mile is tricky. Like that's four to six seconds of bullet flight time. Half a mile, I'm comfortable. Like half a mile, if I got a good gun and the conditions are ideal, I mean, if I got you in my sights at half a mile, you can call that lights out. And that's, I think half a mile, that's one point, little, like 1.6 seconds of flight time with the 7.62, yeah. 